Thank you for your interest in the NIH Toolbox iPad app. This video will demonstrate how to use various features of the app. Notice that you'll need to create a four-digit security code. This code can be reset at any time. To create a new participant, tap Add New Participant in the upper right-hand corner of the participant screen. This can be done either before the session or on the fly. Complete the new participant information. Please note that some of these fields may be required for some instruments. Examiners will be alerted when launching an assessment if one or more required fields are missing based on the selection of instruments. If the NIH Toolbox Picture Vocabulary Test or the NIH Toolbox Oral Reading Test is selected, examiners will also see a Starting Education Level Override field. If an examiner feels a participant should begin the test at a higher level or a lower level than would be appropriate for his or her grade or education level, the examiner should use this feature. To get started, tap Add New Assessment. Once Add New Assessment is tapped, the app will create a new assessment and offer the user an opportunity to add instruments to that assessment. The name of the assessment defaults to Assessment X where X is a numeral, starting at 1 and moving up sequentially, depending on how many assessments have been assigned to this participant. Tap the name of the assessment to edit it. Select Add Instruments. Select batteries or profiles or individual instruments to be added to the assessment from the list of available batteries and profiles or the list of available instruments by tapping Select next to the instruments or batteries name. Users can filter the list of available batteries and profiles, as well as the list of available instruments, by tapping arrows and making selections from the following categories. All domains, cognition, emotion, motor, sensation. All ages, ages listed individually from 3 to 17 or adult. Or all types, cat, short form, or fixed form. Selected instruments will move to the upper part of the screen and will be listed under Selected Instruments. Reorder selected instruments if desired by dragging them up or down using the symbol to the right of the instrument name. You may also drag an instrument out of the Selected Instruments section using this same action. Tap Done in the upper right corner of the screen or tap the arrow in the upper left corner to save your selections and to return to the previous screen. Upon completing instrument selection, tap Start to launch the assessment. At this time, users will be presented either with the assessment launch screen or with one or more error or warning messages alerting users about problems with their assessment. Error messages inform users about problems that prevent them from launching the assessment. Warning messages inform users about missing information or characteristics of the assessment that users may want to revise before starting. An assessment can be paused at any time after launch. Put two fingers on the screen and rotate one of them clockwise, as if making a half circle on the screen. Enter the administrator's passcode that was set up when the app was first launched. Select from the three options presented on the screen, Resume Instrument, Skip Instrument, or Stop Assessment. Different instruments may behave differently if Resume Instrument or Stop Assessment is selected. In most cases, users will be taken back to where they were before pausing the assessment. If Skip Instrument or Stop Assessment is selected, users will be asked the reason for skipping. Select the reason that best describes why the assessment is being stopped. If an instrument is paused, skipped, or stopped, this information is recorded in the data export along with the reason indicated. If the participant was previously created using the NIH Toolbox app on this iPad, you may also locate him or her by tapping Search Participants at the top right corner of the black part of the screen. Once the participant is located, tap their identifier or name to open their record. Tap the arrow to the left of the identifier to view or edit the participant's information. Once an assessment is completed, a simple report can be generated by tapping Report. Reports contain demographic information and scores for any tests that were given during that specific assessment. This information can be modified according to your preferences.
If a participant or assessment has been created, but is not desired in the list of participants or assessments, the entry can be archived. This may be useful in managing data after demonstration, training, or practice. To archive a participant, on the Participants screen, swipe the desired participant to the left. The Archive button will appear. Select Archive. To unarchive a participant, on the Participants screen, select Show All Participants in the lower left corner of the screen. Archived participants will appear. Select Unarchive next to the desired participant. Follow the same procedures to archive or unarchive an assessment. If a participant or assessment is archived, it does not appear in the data exports when they are generated from within the app. Participants and assessments can be archived or unarchived at any time. For a quick way to view all the batteries available on this iPad, tap the Batteries and Profiles button. You can filter which batteries and profiles you want displayed. If no custom battery has ever been created on this iPad, the custom batteries list will be empty. To create a new custom battery, tap Add New Battery in the upper right corner of the screen. Enter the new battery's name and select instruments to be included in this battery from the list of available instruments. Selected instruments will move to the upper part of the screen and be listed under Selected Instruments. Reorder the selected instruments by dragging them up or down using the symbol to the right of the instrument name. Tap Done in the upper right corner of the screen to save the selection and return to the previous screen. If a battery has been created but is not desired in the list of custom batteries, the entry can be archived. This may be useful in managing data after testing, training, or practice. If a battery is created in error, the archive function allows the user to remove it from the visible list. Batteries can be archived or unarchived at any time. To archive a battery, swipe the desired battery to the left. The orange archive button will appear. Select archive. To unarchive a battery, Select Show All Custom Batteries in the lower left corner of the screen. Archived batteries will appear. The Export Data button allows the user to export data collected on a given iPad. Select the files to export by using the filtering options. The default selection will be data that has not been exported yet. Files can be filtered by export status and a date range. To choose a file for export, tap Select to the right of the assessment that is ready for export. All assessments can be selected by touching the Select All option. Assessments that have been selected for export will show a check mark instead of the word Select. When ready to export the select files, touch the Select Export Method button in the top right corner of the screen. This will create or update data files for export. There are three types of data files generated here, registration data, assessment data, and assessment scores. You can choose to edit the name of the file by touching anywhere in the text field, clearing the default file and typing in a new name. Tap one of the four symbols. Tap the envelope symbol next to the file to send the files via email. Tap the iCloud icon for the files to be uploaded to the iCloud Drive account associated with the Apple ID. Tap the iTunes icon for file sharing. Tap the fourth icon for configurable web location. This option is intended for use with an existing web location for data centralization. For more information on all of these options, please see the Administrator's Manual. In the Settings section of the app, you can view and apply for access to cognition tests, view and manage subscription information, view NIH Toolbox app terms and conditions, change the app data security settings, view frequently asked questions, view diagnostic information that may be needed when contacting support, or change the app passcode. For more information, please find resources on our website listed below.